Yeah, what up guys and welcome back to another one. We are back in the truck like usual on these pigeon videos. Um, I was driving along and I passed something on the side of the road and I'm like, hey, that's great, perfect time, perfect time to open up the video. What better to open up the video with a little bit of roadside treasure? Y'all know me. I love collecting stuff that I see because I'm always driving, I'm always scouting, I'm always journeying around. I'm always in this truck and I happen to find stuff on the side of the road all the time. If you guys are into picking up the old ditch treasures, smash that thumbs up button for your boy. But here we go, we are pulling up on our first item of the day. Oh, whenever you pull off on the side of the road, make sure you always hit that hazard button there. <laughs> Woo, can't have too many of these bad boys. Look at that. Perfect. Perfecto. That's a good looking bucket, boys. Oh, yes. As if I don't already have enough buckets back here. <laughs> uh, literally, I'd say a good 75% of the buckets I use for pigeon trapping, pigeon feed, hunting, hunting in the A-frames for everybody to have something to sit on. 75% of them all came from the side of the road. So first win of the day, we're actually headed to the truck stop right now. Uh, we're gonna check the traps. It's very unlikely we have anything happening right now, but we need to get over there and we need to uh, give the parking lot a good hard looking over and we need to do some cleaning. I know there's some new wheat piles around and there's probably, I don't know, 20 or 30 pigeons steadily going to the truck stop. So we need to go clean up some wheat piles uh, to limit the food source, you know what I mean? Well, we're here at the truck stop as you can tell and I'm driving by looking underneath the trailers because you guys know the last video we did, I tried netting that homer pigeon and he liked to be underneath here. It's crazy, I haven't seen him yet again. Uh, that, I actually recorded that video two days, two days ago from today and um, he isn't around. He came one day, one day, because I'm here every single day. That was the first day that I've ever seen that pigeon and uh when i seen him i knew he was special we tried catching him literally all day i hope you guys enjoyed that old video but uh for the most part the pigeons uh like i said there's only 20 or 30 here we're still uh we're still catching them in the uh in the net trap in the old spring trap but just like this right here i'm thinking we might move the uh old spring trap over here this is a good spot and here is a really really good sizable pile of wheat and i really don't feel like cleaning it up so i might just put a trap on it <laughs> <sighs> but yeah yeah that uh the homer he was here one day one day only one day and uh i've been searching for him haven't seen him again i don't know he might have been he might have been racing and he stopped in uh it's kind of hard to believe he might have been following the highways because this all is on a major highway so he could have been racing he could have actually been racing and here i am trying to net him so you never know uh there's a good possibility that he's from town that he's actually somebody's pigeon from town too um i would think if he was actually wild now and not in a loft that he'd probably stick around a lot longer but he's not here I don't know if you guys have any ideas on that Homer pigeon why he would why he would have showed up and just disappeared and not came back. Drop a comment down below because I have no idea. I don't know if we should move the spring trap or this trap here. This trap here, it has been just nothing. We haven't caught anything in this bad boy for so long, and it's due to the amount of pigeons not being here. If I really want to catch him, I probably need to put a bait bird in here today. But I think we're gonna move one trap. I'm gonna probably move that one over yonder. Well, I'm sorry if it's windy today, guys, and you're hearing a bunch of But we're gonna put this bad boy right here, right over that whole pile, just like that. That ought to be good. There we go. That looks really good. Now, <laughs> hopefully someone don't back into it and run it over. Hopefully. Well, here's the situation with the old spring trap. I left the pile here of wheat. 
that our big hotel trap was on and uh, we're just gonna run this and see if it works and every day I come there's one particular pigeon all by himself every day and he's over here and he's eating all these beans and these beans I'm starting to think all the pigeons just have had enough wheat in their system and they're wanting to get something else again because every time the pigeons are over here in the main feeding area as you can see there's corn there's some um, I think this is like corn meal uh, whatever this dark stuff is don't know what that is but it's some type of feed it smells like but every time they're over here they have an assortment wheat beans corn mill every time they're eating they're eating on if this is for the last two and three days maybe four days they've been eating beans so we're gonna pay attention to them hard today see if they're wanting beans what they're really wanting we might have to switch over to beans to get them intrigued to catch again but I know what I am gonna do I'm gonna put some of these beans this pile and that pile I'm gonna get rid of them I'm gonna leave one little pile over by the spring trap and all the rest of them I'm gonna take home and we're gonna go feed the loft birds at home because I ran out of beans a long time ago the only thing I've had is milo and wheat uh, if you guys have a good combination of feed I need to be feeding the loft birds at home drop a comment down below and be like Bob go buy this from Horschlands or TSC or something tell me what to get I know I don't have to have some crazy food it can be something simple right well I'm telling you you can never have too many buckets that's a small dude I don't have a small one like that little quick creek bucket but like I said we're gonna load up some of these beans they're dry, they haven't been rained on, so they're good food. Good food for the old pigeons. And not only that, but we got to eliminate some of their food sources around here, like I said. There's way too much feed laying around. That's why we haven't been trapping it any. Well, here's what I did. I cleaned up that pile of beans. And I cleaned up this pile of beans and I took some beans from both piles and I threw some beans in this trap and over here by the spring trap I scattered beans everywhere around it just kind of everywhere around it so now we have wheat right at the primary trap then we have beans scattered around it. A lot of you know that spring trap. Man, we've caught a lot of birds with it, but the only thing is, is you have to be here to watch it very closely. And today, I'm planning on being here a lot today. So that's why I want to bait it hard. I'm going to watch these pigeons and try to get them dialed in again. But look at that. We got us a whole bucket full of beans. The old loft birds are going to like that. Oh, <laughs> Uh, 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 man, I knew it was bound to happen someday. Gersh, darn it. Jordan, I'm sorry. I owe you $150. Ah, uh, darn it. Darn it. Well, I haven't even made it home to feed the pigeons beans. I stopped back by here, see if our new trap set over there did any good. Oh no! I knew it was bound to happen at some point. Oh man. That's... That sucks. That sucks. Thank goodness it was actually the, the cheaper uh, hotel trap. Darn it. I'm sorry, Jordan. That's... That's no good. Gum it. I knew that was going to eventually happen sometime. I, I've left it out here, kind of in the traffic area. That's where we were trapping a lot of pigeons, where I was out there. And when I left it out there, I was confident about it. But now look at it. Yep. Poop happens. Oh, man. She is completely smashed on that one end right there. But I'm going to take her home and see if we can do some fixing. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to uh, bend it back or not. I don't know. I'm going to give it the old, uh, I'm going to give it a good old try though to fix her. It might be fixable. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not going to chance it. This one here is our good trap. 
I'm gonna go ahead and move it. I, I might move the spring trap over here just in case it gets hit. It's my trap, but this one here, this is this is the really nice one. I don't want it getting tore up. That's uh, that would be a really bad deal. Well, we're back here at the house. Actually, I've been here for a little while working on the old trap here. Check it out. I've got it fluffed back up a little bit. But this end got ran over completely half of it. Just boom. So these corners, yeah, check it out. They've seen better days. And then the entrance is all messed up. The entrance is going to take a ton of work. But I think I can get it fixed. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I can get it to where it's working again. And even if uh, even if I'm only going to use one door, that's a good thing. Is uh, even if I can't get this completely fixed, we might just close it off, or I might just cut all this bad out. Might just cut all that out and do a different style of door. I've seen a lot of you guys on Instagram. You guys have been sending me DMs of your homemade pigeon traps, which I appreciate it. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, follow me right here. But uh, one of you sent me a, a video of one that you made a couple days back and it's got the swinging bars. It's the entrance that's real easy. I like that style of entrance because they don't have to like duck down and squeeze through it like this one. It's just the swinging bars. They go through it and they're done. They don't, they don't have to do much to get in it, right? So that's what I might do with the entrance of this trap to be quite honest with you. But here we are. We got the old loft birds and we got our beans. I already fed and watered them today, but um, I want to try some beans. I want to see how they eat it. So I'm going to put just a little handful on the ground. I still don't trust them after last time. Still don't trust y'all. I just don't. Y'all are quick, see? Uh-huh, I know. They're fast, and they'll dive for this door. These loft birds are different from the feral ones that I was trapping. They like to fly. All right, we'll get us a little handful here. And we'll just, oh, easy now. And we'll just throw it right in the middle over there. <laughs> I'm so cautious with these birds because if y'all can recall uh, the video after we got back from the big barn loft, I lost one the day after. And I do not want to lose another one of these guys because I've started pairing them. I've already started pairing them, putting them in these boxes back here and seeing which ones are males and females. You guys actually taught me the trick. So, uh, be looking out for some more pairing videos. I have a lot more work of pairing to do. We need to put some different ones together and see how they do. But there is a, uh, a video all over pairing these pigeons will be on the way. But I really hope you guys have been enjoying the pigeon videos. It seems like you guys have. And uh, honestly, it makes me really happy that you guys enjoy them just as much as I do. I've been wanting to get some pigeons for a long time. We finally have it, but now this loft is too small. We gotta, we, we gotta expand. I mean, expand. So a lot of pigeon videos yet to come. A lot of you guys have been saying, Bobby, don't stop the pigeon videos. Guess what guys, they're not going anywhere. We're gonna have some hunting videos, some pigeon trapping videos, some loft videos. You know how it goes here. We've been daily and I like mixing it up for y'all. But if any of you guys out there are interested in helping support the channel, helping me bring you guys more videos just like this, all you got to do is head over to duckswaterfowl.com. We got some new hats on the way. They are sauce. I'll link all the ducks products down in the description below. Go over there, check it out. See if there's something that catches your eye. There should be. But I'm going to get to working on the old trap here. Yep. Uh, you know, you know what they say. Stuff happens. And, and that's that's stuff and that's what happens you know just can't expect it not to happen when it's sitting out in the middle of the driveway of a truck stop <laughs> but honestly i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up button for you boy and if you haven't subscribed you need to because we're like i said we're doing daily uploads y'all i love it it's fun it's a lot of work but it is fun i'm glad you guys are enjoying it until next time we'll see you on the next one peace I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real